Andrew Carswell from Headline Advisory and News Corp columnist Joe Hildebrand. Great to have you both Thanks, with Joe. us. Now, it's the final Thanks, week of the state election, like I just mentioned. Joe, you wrote a powerful piece in the Daily Telly today. Uh, paramedics and the Health Services Union are now defying orders, defying health department orders, and they've said that they're going to leave non-urgent patients unattended at hospital. So just mm. the ambulance will come up to a hospital, drop off the patient and walk away, basically. And they're saying this um, because they need to respond to emergency calls after years of decline in hospital ramping and staff shortages in hospitals. Joe, this is this is major, right? And yep. health has been a big issue in the state election campaigns in Victoria and South Australia. It hasn't featured so heavily in New South Wales, although there are the same issues here. Do you think this is going to add pressure on the coalition in the final days of the campaign? Yeah, look, I think it will. And I think the, the, the problem for New South Wales is that uh, while it's been failing to meet its own targets, it has actually been doing better than the other states. So I suppose it's been getting off lightly by able to say, hey, at least we're not as bad as Victoria or Queensland or WA or South Australia. But its standards have been falling. It's meant to get more than 90% of patients away in 30 minutes. Uh, instead, it's only getting less than 85% of patients away. And uh, we saw about mid way through last year, response times to triple zero calls uh, did improve in the second half of last year, but that was only after they hit record highs in the middle of last year. So uh, New South Wales can say with some justification, well, we're better than the other states. And frankly, some of the other states' health systems are basket cases and COVID has exposed that. But it's still not meeting its own standards. Uh, it's worth knowing that paramedics also, they're not just going to dump anyone yet. The, the patient has to be properly assessed. They have to be between 18 and 85. They have to be able to walk. Uh, they can't have any serious mental health issues. So a, a whole bunch of checks will be done before the paramedics hand them over and they'll tell a triage nurse that they are there. But nonetheless, you're absolutely right. This is an extremely um, a, a major move. And as far as I'm aware, I don't think, and from what I'm told, uh, this has never happened before. This is completely unprecedented.